Hey, what's up everyone? Tim here from Everyday Tactical Vids, and today we're looking at the Warrior X Pro from Olight. So there are other versions of the Warrior out there from Olight. This is the latest version. Here's some of the details. Your end-to-end -end length is 5.87 inches, your head diameter 1.54 inches, your body diameter 1.03 inches. Your weight is 8.43 ounces, and that is including the battery. And I appreciate the fact that they include that information because sometimes, actually a lot of time it seems like, uh, flashlight companies say, here's the weight without the battery, but no one's using a flashlight without the battery. Anyhow, the material for the light is aluminum alloy. It does come with a 21700 battery, and this is a 5000 milliamp battery. The light is IPX8 rated, so it's good down to 2 meters submersible, and it is drop resistant to 3 meters. So now in the box, when you order the light, you're obviously going to get the Warrior X Pro flashlight. The uh, pocket clip, you're also going to get the battery, like I said, that comes with it. You're going to get the magnetic charging cable. You're going to get the tactical grip ring, a lanyard, a user manual, and also the holster. Now, they do have a couple optional uh, accessories for this. You can get the remote switch for a rifle. There's also a remote switch for a shotgun. And then you have the flashlight weapons mount you can also purchase from Olight. So you have two different modes for this light as far as outputs. You have mode one, which is 2,250 lumens, and then it's gonna drop down to 1,000 lumens, and that's gonna drop down to 300 lumens. So that's gonna give you two minutes at 2,250, 100 minutes at the 1,000, and then 23 minutes at the 300 lumen output. Mode two is 300 lumens, that's gonna go for eight hours. As far as your throw for the light, when it's at the highest output, it's gonna give you 600 meters of throw. And at the mode two output, which is 300 lumens, it's gonna give you 220 meters of throw. So let me just show you this one end to end. Um, obviously this one is in green. Uh, Olight has a variety of different colors available for the, uh, for the Warrior. Um, nice uh, wide bezel here, 1.54 inches. Like I said, you get these rings to help with the cooling. Then you have, uh, you know, it kind of drops in here. This is where you're, um, you're going to mount it to a, uh, to a rifle or a shotgun with a, um, with a ring that you buy separately. You can take off the uh, pocket clip. You've got this tactical ring here, so you can hold it like this. And then you have, this is magnetized on the end. I'll just show you with the charger here. So that's how it's going to attach. And then you just plug this end into your uh, either into your computer or into your wall if you've got a plug like I do there. And then this is also the section where you're going to attach your um, pressure switch so that you can press basically the pressure switch on the side of your rifle and then it'll activate the uh, activate the light. Here's a real quick look at mounting the pressure switch. So there's the end of it. Locks on like so. And then here's the pressure switch you're going to put on a rail system. And just to show you here, squeeze this. It's going to come on, let go, on and off, on and off like so. So this is a, uh, a magnetic attachment like that, obviously, like you saw when it clicked on. And then there's your pressure switch. Let me just open it up, show you the, uh, show you the battery here. So like I said before, 21700, 5000 milliamps and 3.6 volts. Drop it in like so. Now for a lot of people, I think this is going to be a bit too big to carry in a pocket, but you could, you know, run that over some molly webbing or something like that if you wanted to, uh, if you wanted to carry it without having the holster and obviously not attached to a, uh, to a weapon. Let's take a look at the holster real quick. So, uh, pretty, pretty beefy, pretty strong, um, uh, ballistic nylon. It's got a little bit more form and structure here. So it's not like it's really floppy. You do have a hole in the bottom. This is also a, a magnet here. So when it closes, it's going to be like that. As far as putting the light in, you can put it bezel down like so, and then this is gonna go over the top like that. Um, because of the way this is structured, I don't think you're gonna accidentally bump this thing too easily. Like I'm pressing really hard and it's not coming on there. You can also run it the opposite way like this. And now pressing down on the top, that hole is going to basically make sure that the, uh, the, bu the button doesn't get pressed. Here's a quick look at activating it. So you're gonna press obviously on the uh, end pressure switch press it lightly and it's gonna come on. You can let it go off lightly. Come on, let it go off. If I press it harder, quickly, it's gonna come on and lock on, press it, it goes off. You can also press it lightly. It's gonna come on and then press it harder and it's gonna go up to the higher output. So quick on and off and then again, lightly 300 up to the 2250 and then off. So I was just messing around with this aggressive bezel. If you do take it off, which you can, you're gonna have direct access to the reflector, 
Um, so I would basically recommend don't don't mess with it. You can see there's like a blue, looks like a liner in there, but that's actually like a, a rubber O-ring, a little bit thicker than your standard O-ring. But that keeps, the, the way it's set up right now is that your bezel and your lens and that kind of purple O-ring are all very nicely eh, nicely put into place. So if you mess around with it, you might have some issues. It was trouble. I had some trouble getting the um, the the whole thing basically lined up every time I would push it in, the little rubber O-ring would kind of fold out of the way. So it took a little time, but... Anyhow, there's a quick look at the uh, at the light. I think your application for this is definitely tactical, uh, emergency bag, car, um, you know, car bag, everyday carry. Yeah, it's got a little bit of heft to it. Like I said before, 8.43 ounces, so that's a little bit heavy for me to keep in a bag. And then definitely for a, a weapons light, if you want to uh, have a weapons light that'll give you, you know, over 2,000 lumens of output and then 300 lumens at the lower level, then that's a uh, this could be a light worth checking out for you. So comparing this, the Warrior X Pro, to the Warrior X, with the Warrior X, which came before this, obviously, you're going to get 2,000 lumens of output, and you're going to get 560 meters of throw. With this one, you're going to get 2,250 when it comes to lumens, and 600 meters of throw. So when you look at the Warrior X compared to the Warrior X Pro, um, they look very similar as far as, you know, this one's in the flat dark earth, this one's in the, uh, in the uh, some people might call it olive drab or army green, I'd call it that but it leans towards kind of a forest green i think um they look very similar overall function is going to be similar but let's uh let's take these out to the night and we can compare them uh using them in the dark okay we're outside now i'm looking at a tree that's about 75 feet away and the first light you're going to see is the warrior x and the second one will be the warrior x pro so we'll do the lower output and then the higher output for both these lights so let's take a look at the warrior x so there's on the lower setting here's the higher setting Okay, here's the Warrior X Pro, lower setting, higher setting. I don't know how well you can pick it up on the uh, camera, but I can definitely see a difference with the uh, with the naked eye, which is interesting to me, but you can see that the Warrior X Pro is throwing more light with the uh, human eye. One other thing I want to mention is that you do have a bigger battery with the Warrior X Pro with the 21700, as opposed to the 18650 that comes with the Warrior X. So there's a difference between the two as well. There's not a huge difference in the size of the battery overall, but the 21700 definitely is, it's bigger, and you can tell that when you put the two side by side. Okay, I'm back at 125 to about 135 feet, looking at that same tree. And uh, this will be the last test between the two, and then we'll just show you the Warrior X Pro. But we'll, uh, we'll show you the Warrior X at the highest output, and then the Warrior X Pro. So here comes the Warrior X. And now the Warrior X Pro. So we've got the Warrior X on the left and the Warrior X Pro on the right. Now I would say right now, shining them side by side, can't really see a ton of difference. That first angle I could, but now the amount of uh, output, since it's so similar, um, you can't really see a ton of difference. Okay, we're looking at my side yard now. Here's the Warrior X Pro with your lower output and up to your high output. Here's your low output. I can see pretty much, you know, this whole side yard quite well. Definitely a hotter center, but gives you a nice, uh, a nice amount of uh, flood as well. And then here's the higher output. And then obviously, I mean, I can see significantly better with this. This thing definitely throws. Another test of the Warrior X Pro. We'll put on the high output here. So I'm shining it toward the bottom of the tree and I can see up the tree quite quite a bit, this big tree here that I'm looking at. It's a little bit hard to pick up on camera, but when I'm shining it at the bottom here, I can even see up to where those branches start to spread out. So I can pick up quite a bit here.
So since this is a tactical light and you know many of the applications are going to be connected to attaching it to a firearm, just want to show you what it looks like when you have it on the low setting and the high setting and you move it around you know the the yard where there's a bunch of you know gates and fence the fence and the bulkhead and stuff let's just take a look if we were walking around with this thing and we had it on a weapon and we were you know moving around the various uh the various structures that are here around my house We're gonna wrap up now talking about the Warrior X Pro from Olight. Uh, first thing I'll tell you is that I have the Warrior X, it's right in my hand and I'm giving light to this, uh, this shot right here. Um, but I, I didn't use the Warrior X a ton because I've got other lights that are kind of go-tos for me. Uh, the Warrior X Pro, having used it a little bit more, I, I do like it actually quite a bit. I like the difference between that lower output and then when it bumps up to that high. I mean, you can really see a difference when you, uh, you know, when I was like shining it around the yard um, from that low to that high is really a notable difference. One of the details about the Warrior X Pro is that I think it's 6,000 in the flat dark earth or the desert tan and then 5,000 units of the uh, of the green. So once they're done and they're sold out, they're, they're, they're gone for good. So if you're interested in this light, you gotta, you gotta move quickly. Um, I will tell you again, I mean like I'm not mounting this on a shotgun or a rifle or anything. That's just generally not my world um, as much as more everyday carries, outdoor survival, stuff like this. Um, but I can imagine that, especially with that low to that high bump being a really good uh, light for nighttime, nighttime use on your weapon. Um, size of it again, not an EDC light for me, but definitely a light that you could throw in a bag, throw in your car. Um, if you want something that's really got to give a ton of flood and not so much the throw, then I'd go for something else. But with this one, having it be a, uh, a light that's really got some solid throw and that hot center with a decent amount of, uh, of flood as well. Um, it's, I wouldn't call it a balanced mix, definitely a thrower with a hotter center than it is balanced, but it does give you kind of a broad area. Um, I could keep this in a car for spotting things at night if I was out you know, looking for animals or whatever. I could use this to shine to see things off in the distance. Your standard cost for this is going to be around 170 um, based on what the Olight website sell, says, but they're actually having a flash sale soon after this video comes out, um, and that's going to reduce it significantly. So you can get this for around around 100 bucks, which is uh, which is quite a good deal. Now I'll be interested to hear from you if you own one of these or if you've used the Warrior X, particularly on a weapon, uh, what that's been like for you and how it's worked out for you. Um, I've got a I've got one of the seekers in my car for my like emergency light that I keep accessible quickly. But I'm, I'm gonna see if I can find a place for this because I really do like the fact that it's a, uh, it's a thrower and you just can't pick it up on camera unless I had a super wide angle lens, which unfortunately I don't. But this, this thing definitely launches the light out into the, uh, out into the night. So yeah, let's hear your thoughts on this video, having seen it in use. What do you think about the Warrior X Pro? All right guys, thanks as always for checking out the videos here on YouTube. Please subscribe to Everyday Tactical Vids if you haven't done so already. Like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, check us on Instagram, Tumblr, and Vero as well. More videos coming soon. Take care.